And a few years ago, um, Robbie was in middle school, Lexi was about nine years old, and I came home after several events just dog-tired. And there was a pile of laundry that, I'm serious, Mount Everest came to mind. And I thought to myself, I was a bit emotionally wealthy, I think. That's what I like to call it, guys, emotional wealth. <laughs> and I thought to myself, there's one thing an emotionally wealthy woman needs when her children are as needy as mine are. It is meatloaf stuffed with cheese, wrapped in bacon, and smothered in barbecue sauce. So I hit the kitchen and I made the finest meatloaf stuffed with cheese wrapped in bacon smothered in barbecue sauce that a woman ever could make. Mashed potatoes, corn on the side, homemade from scratch, blueberry muffins, and I sat my family down for the finest meal that was going to give me the strength for that laundry. The meatloaf was steaming. I could not wait to take a bite. Before my husband said the blessing, he looked at me. I don't know what possessed him. He asked me about the laundry. <laughs> Bad idea. Men, do not do this when your women are emotionally wealthy. I don't know what happened in the next few seconds. I think I flicked the plate, but I do know that I saw a meatloaf spiral headed towards my husband's face. <laughs> and the worst part is, I missed. <laughs> there I stood looking at my two children thinking they're headed for the counseling chair because of this very moment one day. So I did what any reasonable, emotionally wealthy woman would do. I burst into tears and ran to the bathroom. My husband followed me. <laughs> and that's when he became my hero. Because he opened the door and he said, baby, we've got two opportunities here. We can make today one of the worst memories in our kid's life, or we can make it one of the funniest. I am up for number two. What do you say? <laughs> and he took me by the hand as if he was asking me to dance. And he led me back to the kitchen, and he sat me down in that seat, and he pushed the chair in, and he began a comedy routine that I say to this day deserves to be on Letterman. Amen? Ladies, when you go home tomorrow night, Saturday morning, do not throw meatloaf at your husbands. Men, if she happens to forget this all-important lesson from D6, be a hero like my man. How many of you have messy meatloaf moments in your life? You're all looking at me like you've never thrown a meatloaf. <laughs> Surely there's something that's messy in your life. And if we really talked about it, it gets a lot messier than that, doesn't it? Us, the pastors, the teachers, the children's ministry directors, are you Yep, that's us.